Hey guys, Thrift Hunter here. Sorry I'm kind of off in the corner. The sunlight's coming in at a real weird angle, so I'm going to do it over here. Um, went out to garage sales this morning real early. Went to some estate sales yesterday. Um, didn't do that great at the estate sale. It was a really cool estate sale, um, but the jewelry table was real crowded and the prices were kind of weird and quality. I mean, there was a lot of damage. Um, but I got another little Yixing teapot. I'm going to show you guys and get your opinion kind of on it. I liked it, so I bought it. Um, got some jewelry today and actually a really big gold find, um, which is probably going to be in the title. Um, my biggest gold find this year. It's really nice. Uh, I'll do real well on it. Pretty happy about it. So we'll show you that. Other than the couple things of jewelry I got and the teapot, really just just not much uh, in the way of collectibles and, and things like that. But, you know, making a lot of money um, today, so I was really happy. But um, not a whole lot to show you, so this video will be a little bit shorter. So if you guys remember from my last video, or maybe it was two or three videos ago, I got this little uh, teapot here. I'll show you the side with the little food dog there and this one I told you guys I, I figured you know I don't know a lot about these uh, I'm still trying to learn but I bought this one because it was in good condition and um, it, it looks fairly commercially made and and not super high quality but it, it's marked and and okay and this is the one that I bought at the estate sale so now if I can get the two side by side here I can move them you can kind of see the difference in the quality and the age a little bit. Just look at how much darker this one is. And and that's not to say that these were, you know, the exact same color clay when they were made, but this one it definitely shows shows a little bit more detail. And by no means is this like a master carved piece. I mean, if you look real close, it's it, the details just aren't there. Just like you if you were looking at a painting or or some fine object, you would look for real, real close up of the details, and and this side with the bamboo is pretty nice, but this side with the little leaf on it is okay. Um, the acorn is real nice on top. The handle's decent. Um, I really like the spout with the little handle because traditionally you drink um, straight out of the teapot, but. It had obvious um, damage to the lid when I bought it, and that's why it was a little bit cheaper at the estate sale. I, I gave 25 bucks for this, and um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do on that at all. But there's the marks, and you can kind of see the the staining. And, and you can see the kind of dirt and stuff around it from the tea leaves. And when you look on the inside here, you can see kind of some more of what I'm talking about with the... the leaf staining and, and whatnot, and you can smell it. Um, so it's been used, and it's been around, and it's been stained, and, and that's what you want to look for in these kind of qual... I have no idea what these say. I have no idea, you know, I have no idea about these marks. I don't even know if this is a $5 tourist piece. I mean, go figure. But it's been used. It, it shows some sort of age in my opinion. I mean, this is real dark. It's been stained. It's been, tea has been brewed in it. Um, might be 30, 40 years old. Might be closer to 100 years old. I really couldn't tell you. I posted it up on, on the eBay forums and haven't really gotten any response yet because not a lot of people know Chinese on the U.S. forums. So, uh, but it's, uh, the only collectible I got this weekend, so I want to show you guys a little bit of what I was talking about versus the commercial. Like, this is what you look for when you're looking for collectibles. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter um, if it's pottery, glass, jewelry, whatever. You just look for the quality. I mean, look at the difference. Plain, not really detailed, doesn't show a lot of age versus something that's darker. It's got that just wonderful color. I mean, that's really what sold me on it is it's got this really nice color. To the clay, so you know who knows. Could be a hundred bucks, could be ten cents. Uh, I don't know. It's got condition other than the lid. It's got um, this little piece of the leaf is broken off right here, so not the best. But for twenty-five bucks, I bought it. All right, guys. Well, here's the jewelry I got today, and uh, 
you know, a couple of little pieces. It all started adding up. I got a little piece here, a little piece there, you know, a necklace here, a necklace there, it, and it adds up. Um, I guess I can start with the little box piece right here because I kind of want to talk about it. Um, this says genuine ruby and diamond. The only diamond is like right there. There's a little baby one. No money in the stones, but these are um, also marked. 18 karat gold over sterling silver. Um, they're asking five. I paid three. It actually weighs about six grams. They sell these at like Kmart, Walmart, those kind of places for like 25 bucks. So uh, I might be able to get seven or eight uh, for the little set. Uh, moving on, I got a bunch of uh, sterling necklaces for around two dollars each at one sale. So this was one of them, um, just a coil wrap, and it's marked on the lobster clasp right here, um, nine two five. So that was two dollars. It weighs like five or six grams. Um, a little jingle bell anklet here. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. It's just turtles and jingle bells. It's like really annoying, but. Again, that was like two bucks. Here's another one I bought from the same lady. Uh, Mark 925 on the clasp. Um, two bucks weighs again five grams or so. Uh, this one was pretty nice. Got nice little stones. It's real heavy. Um, that one I gave three four um, just because it was heavier and bigger. And that's what she was asking. Um, so I got this one again for two bucks. Nice little gold plated and sterling with the lobster clasp. That one's a good six grams or so. Uh, I picked up these earrings for a quarter at a garage sale. Um, let's see. Here's a nice little glass and sterling necklace. That was $2 as well. Um, should get some money for that. This was a broken chain, uh, Italy box chain again. Um, this was a dollar. I picked up this too, which I kind of, secondhand Daisy will probably know a lot about these things. These are the little coral, polished coral gemstone um, necklaces. It's got a sterling clasp and these are the kind of things that that he talks about and I talk about too is the, the kind of nicer quality made, you know, handmade polished gemstone type necklaces actually sell pretty well. I mean you can just tell because of the weight. There's some that are junky and some that are nice and you can tell that this one was a definitely you know, a, a lot nicer made and a, and a quality shop. Real nice, beachy, you know, undyed, natural coral. Um, good piece to pick up. Uh, I picked up these earrings that were in this costume jewelry bag right here. Um, it says $3. I think that was, yeah, $3 for that bag. Really just wanted these in it. I paid $2 for the bag. Um, these are marked sterling on the back. So those were good. Those are like five grams or so. Picked up this um, little. Let's see if I can get a. Let's try with the magnifying glass. Woo. Little nice 14 karat gold filled heart locket. Um, mark on the clasp and on the inside of the locket. 14 karat gold filled. Um, that was 50 cents. And these little sweetheart lockets are real popular. Um, I bought these. Earrings for $2, they're costume, they're signed art. Um, I thought they were like a, a special kind of stone. It's, there's a stone called Sapphirette and Sapphirine, I guess is what you would say. And it's like this blue glass with like gold poured into it that gives it this um, reddish glow or whatever. I thought these might be that, but don't believe art made that kind of glass. So they're probably not, but they're still a nice molded glass. Missing a rhinestone there, so not, not going to be worth really anything. Um, or at least not worth my time, I would say. So, a big score. This is the one. Um, this is 14 karat gold and opal. Um, real nice. Does have a damaged um, clasp now. Uh, long story. But I'll open it up here. Nice hinge. The lady said it was all... She was like, had a box of jewelry and was like, oh, it's all, you know counterfeit or not counterfeit she said a uh, knockoff jewelry she's like oh it's all knockoff jewelry um but it's nice knockoff jewelry she told me so at least she told me it was nice stuff but i bought this for 15 dollars on a on a chance and let's see i'm trying to get a shot of this mark this 14k hopefully you can see it now um so it's marked 14k right there the lady said it was you know costume but i 
could tell mostly by the opals. The opals, um, right now they don't look that great, but out in the sunlight, these opals are very speckled green and, and red and looked very natural. Um, it's always good to see the little safety hinge. That's always a good sign of quality because, you know, you don't want to lose something that's gold, so you put the little safety clasp on it. Um, it's got, not all the stones are open-backed, which was a little worrying. Um, you can see, like, some casting, which is normally not good. You know, you normally want to see nice, clean, polished. Um, I looked for spots, you know, there's kind of these weird solder points. Like, right here, there's a solder point, and right here, there's a solder point, and right here, there's a solder point. They're blackened. I was worried that it was plated, and she was asking 20. I said we'd take 15, you know, I was willing to take the chance on it. Um, anyway, I took it, got it home, tested it. It tested 14 karat. I tested it with a magnet. I, I scratched it with my knife just to make sure it didn't change color. Um, then right after that, rushed it over to the jeweler, just handed it to the jeweler. And he just basically in very little time said, yep, it's 14 karat gold. He's like, oh, it's $300 in the gold. And I'm like, you know, obviously I already weighed it before I went in. It's about 21.8 grams. Um, and that's obviously worth a lot more than $300 in scrap. I'm not that stupid, but, um, this will turn out to be around, I want to say $550 to $600, um, on my $15 investment. It really needed it, really needed a good find. Um, you know, pretty excited about it. Wish it had some nice diamonds or something, but the opals are real nice. They don't really have much value, but real nice, big, heavy, I mean, this way is, you know, two-thirds of an ounce basically so that'll go with the rest of my gold um, and probably still be just sold on eBay you know plain just like how it is so there's my jewelry well those were my finds for this weekend and um, got some good things not a whole lot of things but it just Again, goes to show you, it takes one time. Uh, I got the gold bracelet at the last sale I went to. It was about uh, 11 o'clock, 10.30-ish. Um, it was a, and, and this sounds really good, but it really wasn't that good, but it was a senior citizen flea market at this golf course clubhouse in this, like, retirement home community. And, and it sounds really good, but the, you know, most of the places didn't have anything good. Um, I was the first table, first place I went to, and I had a little bit of jewelry, went through the stuff, didn't find anything, went through the bracelet, you know, saw the opals and, and grabbed that piece up and then after that didn't find anything. So it, it was just really lucky that I got it. Um, but it, it just takes one time and it only, you know, I'd rather be lucky than good. So, um, I would have liked to have found some real nice collectibles, just didn't see any. A lot of new stuff. Um, not really that many old homes around where I live, so nothing really old turns up very often. But uh, keep looking. Next weekend, hopefully, I'll get out again and get up early. And I've been trying to hit them real hard on Saturday after, you know, I, I'm done working for the week. So uh, I like to see everybody else's videos, and thanks for watching.